Hi Evelyn, thanks for helping my project. Hi. <laughs> uh, did you know that NASA is planning to send astronauts to the moon? Um, I've heard about it, but I haven't really read up, um, much of it. Oh, I should ask, uh, can you say a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm Evelyn, I'm a college student at Rice University, and I'm studying biosciences and English, and I also do a bunch of art stuff on the side. Did you know uh, a JFK uh, gave a speech 60 years ago at uh, uh, yeah. Rice? <laughs> Yeah, I think they have like a poster in the library and that's one of the things that they tell people on tours a lot. Do you remember how the speech goes? Um, I don't think I can exactly recall it. <laughs> we choose to go to the moon. <laughs> Not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Okay, anyway. Um, so what do you think about us going back to the moon? Um, I think it's really, really interesting. I think, I don't know a lot about space, but reading up on the history and stuff like that, I feel like it's a really good way to gather people together to kind of work on the technology and also just, it's another form of innovation. Hmm. Uh, but whenever you think about the future of humanity, say like 200 years out, mm -hmm. do you think we're still all on the Earth? Or do you think some of us have like created settlements in other parts of the solar system? I think it's possible that we could expand outwards. So I, I, I wouldn't say that's far-fetched. Um, if you could, would you take a trip to space? Um, probably not me personally, just because I have ear pressure problems, so going that fast upwards would be um, really bad for me. But I do have a friend who's really into NASA, and she just wants to go to the moon. Um, so imagine this, um, one of your descendants immigrates to Mars, <laughs> and it's 200 years in the future, and as your great-great-great-great-great-great-granddaughter on Mars, she's in high school, in history class, doing a project on the 2020s. Oh. So she's like in 22, 22, looking back at you right now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about this decade that you hope is worth remembering in 200 years? Um, I think recently the, um, uh, the telescope picture that recently popped up um, and is going viral on TikTok and everything, where they were able to capture a bunch of galaxies and very, very good quality. I think I would probably mention that because that was really, really cool. Um, my friend and I were very interested in that. That's awesome. Well, I see this as a, a project for uh, people not even born yet to make sense of what I think is going to be a pivotal decade in terms of space travel. Um, is there anything that you want to talk about that we didn't get to? Um, not anything that comes up to my mind. I'm actually kind of curious about your thoughts on space travel. Um, I think this is a, we've been using expendable rockets since the, like we started it and you know so you have to build like a new rocket every single time you go to space so it's like extremely expensive mm -hmm. and uh, SpaceX is working on um, creating a 100% reusable rocket that could carry like 100 people at a time to space and you can like launch it multiple times per day and I think it's going to completely transform the cost of accessing space. I think it's going to be like going from the Wright Brothers plane to like a 747. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, I believe it's really just going to open up the, the solar system to humanity. So I think by the time that um, in 2030 happens, we would be able to travel to the moon just like some people travel to the bottom of the oceans or the top of mountains. Like difficult, but possible. It's mm -hmm. kind of like that. Yeah, I'd be really excited to see if anything develops in my life. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll see people oh, living on Mars, and uh, hopefully our lives are longer. Hopefully we're both looking at this in 200 years going, ah! <laughs> yeah, so that'd be cool. But, um, yeah. Well, thank you.